Welcome to our course on marketing strategy part 1. Uh, last week we have discussed the fundamentals of marketing concepts and how those concepts have evolved. Today's concepts as opposed to uh, earlier concepts and how we will see future concepts emerging and uh, the application part. Uh, the tactical part of marketing as well as some aspects of the strategic part of marketing we have discussed. This week our main theme will be business environment and marketing strategy. That means, uh, the aspects of uh, marketing going beyond the organization and the customer. Previous week we have discussed a lot about the interaction between organizations and customers in the context of marketing. Now we are going to look at other factors all that come into the play to create this concept of holistic marketing that we introduce to you. In this session I am going to focus on uh, a very uh, important part of marketing. Some people say just like we have introduced to you 4 P's in the same way there is another acronym in marketing quite popular called 3 C's. So, in 3 C's you have the customer, you have the company and the third C is competition and we are going to discuss about uh, competition now. We have uh, Professor uh, S. S. Mishra uh, and Hello. we are both from IIT Kanpur as we have uh, talked about. So, we are discussing this week, this session ways of competing. The first uh, important model that I am going to present to you is a very simple model uh, developed by Professor Igor Ansoff. And it is a very powerful model, because it will, it will give a guidance to organizations uh, for years, how to start and how to evolve. So, in a way it is uh, a model to for you to decide that where you want to start your play and where you want to go. So, as you know strategy is all about a journey going from A to B. So, A is your current position and B is your future intended position. Now, in this going from A to B, you have to first know where you are and you have to know where you want to go. And in this process of course, it is not a linear journey, there will be obstacles, there will be new uh, happenings the competition will have responses. And so, while your overall direction will remain, you may have to go uh, in an evolutionary way. So, the first is therefore, the two concepts which we have already introduced to you market and product. Now, both sides can have two variants existing market and new market and existing product and new product if we put this together in a 2 by 2 matrix and we are very fond of this 2 by 2 matrices in management particularly in marketing. So, you see immediately it shows us that what is the strategic task of the organization with respect to product and market. So, if you are you are taking an existing product to a new market. So, your current market is south of India you have developed a shampoo very successful in south of India and you are now wanting to launch that shampoo in eastern part of India. This activity we will call market development. So, it is taking an existing product to a new market. Similarly, if you are taking an existing product and existing market that means, you might not have covered that entire. So, south of India maybe you have not you are very strong in Tamil Nadu, you are very strong in Andhra, 
but maybe you are not that strong in Karnataka or in Kerala. So, it can be a geographical penetration or maybe your product is doing very well with uh, the young customers, but you may need to actually also address the needs of the uh, senior citizens. That is another kind of market penetration. So, market penetration can be geographic, market penetration can be demographic or uh, market segment, market penetration can also be sometimes uh, psychographic and all these concepts we will discuss in greater detail later. But at this moment therefore, uh, important point is that existing products can be taken to existing market that will be penetration, existing product to new market that will be market development. Similarly, there can be new products taken to new market. This is the most challenging part of marketing. This is where actually you are marketing and innovation. The product is new and the market is new. That means, you are playing with both unknown factors. You do not know that market, you do not know that product. So, obviously, this is where you have the highest risk. So, you have the lowest risk here because you are operating, uh, you know the market, you know the product and you have the highest risk here. So, most of the time companies actually uh, instead of going there, uh, usually go either via this route. That means, you are taking a new product to the existing market. So, that is what we call product development or the company may actually go this way. That means, they from the existing product in the existing market, they may come to a new market and from that experience, they can actually develop a new type of product. For example, many of the car manufacturers, when they came to India, the big ones like Ford, General Motors or Toyota, they first came with their uh, existing models and then basically it was almost like an export. Uh, there was some local assembly, but they took that existing product and offered it to the Indian market. But they soon saw that there are some exciting segments in Indian market which may not be that uh, popular. For example, small cars with diesel engine or um, uh, cars in general with diesel engine or uh, uh, a sedan which is a four door car, but uh, with certain uh, features which are particular to India like because of uh, road condition you need a um, the higher uh, level for the platform. Uh, so, you need maybe bigger tires. So, they understood that there is a need of developing uh, uh, cars which are meant for the Indian condition designed in India for India and that therefore, the companies originally came through this route, but they soon actually de started developing new types of cars for this new market and that became a diversification. So, as you see here, this is a very good diagram for you to decide do you start here, do you start here and where do you are wanting to go. So, every product that you are introducing in the marketplace can be positioned somewhere on this, uh, uh, on this model in one of the quadrants. Now, I will come in terms of competition and in the interaction between uh, the three pronged interaction that means, the organization, the customer and the product or service or the offering as we call it. If you put all these three things together, uh, a very interesting concept was introduced by Michael Tracy and, and this is the concept of uh, discipline of market leaders in facing competition and bringing products to markets. The value disciplines, uh, uh, this is called value discipline. There are three value disciplines. One is uh, operational excellence, uh, the second is uh, product leadership and the third is customer uh, intimacy. Actually, uh, in a previous session, uh, Professor Mishra introduced to you that how in the very beginning, we started with the uh, production emphasis where actually we wanted to be most efficient and we wanted to be optimal. And uh, in those days, therefore, the uh, focus was here. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we moved to the product era and then today we are moving to the customer era. Of course, 
um, uh, we will discuss when we discuss product uh, life cycle, then we will see that in the early stage of the product actually uh, this is the place where we start, because this is where we are competing on product features or differentiation. So, uh, differentiation is in another name is product leadership, low cost another generic strategy um, is uh, another name of operational excellence and uh, focus the third generic strategy is uh, in a way nothing but uh, the customer intimacy strategy. And as you see uh, our move is from uh, best total cost, reliability, quality, uh, efficiency of productivity, uh, economy of scale from there in the second stage we move to the uh, best product and then we move to the best total solution. So, if we put in the strategic frame our aim is to go from good to great. There are some interesting literature on this very theme uh, strategic literature good to great. Uh, here very interesting metaphor for us where we can combine the strategic framework uh, from the organizational context and marketing uh, uh, subset of that strategy is uh, what we can call strategic marketing is use this metaphor of bus. That means, a bus is a journey and uh, you have to decide which bus you want to take. Are you going from Kanpur to Kolkata or you are going from Kanpur to Delhi and you have to decide that if you are getting into the bus, then maybe you know in this metaphor we will if we take the fixed uh, number of passengers there were nobody standing. So, which means that if you are getting on then some people have to get out. So, that means that you have to push out some competition all these are part of the competition dynamics which we will continue to discuss um, today and tomorrow. So, the different aspects of strategy uh, in this interaction between uh, uh, interaction among product organization and uh, competition uh, uh, or the three C's. The interaction of three C's produces this uh, sort of uh, 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 detail matrix, where we have on one side we have those three value proposition uh, that is the y axis, uh, which is the operational sorry the x axis the operational excellence product leadership and customer intimacy. And on the vertical we have core business structure marketing system and culture. So, you see uh, initially our focus will be on efficiency, efficient distribution, efficient production. Uh, the organizations even the marketing organization usually will be quite centrally uh, dominated and standard products, standard procedures and the approach is one size fits all. This gives way to the next stage where product innovation becomes the main theme. Uh, obviously, therefore, your structure has to become more flexible and uh, there will be more focus on value innovation and experimentation will be the nature of your uh, culture. And the last one uh, is this uh, customer intimacy, where the focus will be on total solution. Obviously, at this stage uh, empowerment uh, of the people who are in the direct contact with customer that means the front line that empowerment becomes very important uh, to succeed in this kind of uh, uh, at this stage of the development. And the marketing system will be focusing on cost and return, but also it will be focusing on feed and weed. That means, you have to see that which products and which customers and some will have to be left out. Uh, these we will discuss a lot more when we discuss about the strategies of marketing at the mature stage or maturing stage. Uh, we will discuss it in detail, but most important here is that uh, it is have it your way. That means, power is very much in the hands of the customer. So, uh, with this we come to sort of a uh, conclusion on the first aspect. Uh, of uh, competition dynamics and how customer uh, and organization uh, or company and uh, competition the three C's create
create uh, different types of uh, models or conceptual uh, framework to approach the market in a strategic fashion. Very well explained Professor Chatterjee. I would just like to add on like uh, all these uh, pursuit of a strategy also depend on the kind of industry you are that at a particular point of time even today you can find out there are companies which are doing really well in terms of their uh, financial uh, things like it depends on the type of industry they are and probably the competition and the other environmental aspect. Like if we talk about this uh, operational excellence, uh, so we talk about this uh, Indigo Airlines which is probably in spite of being this overall airlines industry not doing so well, but it, it has still made some little bit of profit showing uh, are probably based on its uh, this this operational excellence things where they have implemented so many initiative so that uh, their turnaround time is very less their cost of managing the customers and the, the flight maintenance all those things are probably <coughs> very less and then we talk about this product concept we were already talking about this uh, Honda success in India with their model. So, Indigo model. will be an example of uh, operational, excellence. operational excellence, excellence like Southwest Airlines Southwest. of US. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then talking about this Honda Activa in India we talked about in the Yeah, the example day. which you discussed. So, the product was basically so well designed and this, this was coming out from the engineers uh, pursuit of, uh, of product excellence. Product, product excellence. So, another probably an example where the company has pursued this product concept and then, then we have this uh, customer inti intimacy where probably we can talk about uh, cafe coffee day. Mm -hmm. so, so this kind of company which probably have done really well on the customer intimacy side, they have a very loyal customer base. So, you see the, the, the and we were discussing about have it your a you know have it a, in a uh, coffee cafe day you can just go and have a one order one cup of coffee and you can uh, chat with your friends maybe for two yeah. hours you can uh, they will free Wi-Fi, you can do your office work. Yeah. I have uh, like coffee cafe day, their model is based on the Starbucks it's model. Starbucks there are uh, startup companies at Silicon Valley I have read, yeah. their office address is a Starbucks. Yeah. That means they do everything sitting there because uh, you yeah. know these days everything yeah, is on the net that, yeah. and using the free Wi-Fi at a Starbucks yeah. and Starbucks is very proud yeah. that some great companies were born. Uh, through discussions at Starbucks and, and so this is you know this is connecting with the customer from that emotional level and uh, connecting with the uh, customer with uh, sort of uh, non-monetary uh, aspect and non-product aspect or the, yeah. uh, the that means what we call the when we discuss more in detail about the product then you know we have the core product and we have the augmented product. Yeah, so like in the case of Starbucks if I talk about the, the overall value proposition if you look at there is something like a product which is excellent coffee but beyond that they go that uh, ambience and the customer service excellence they add up to that value proposition so they go beyond the product. So we have three examples from different industry and basically one has to look into the kind of industry the kind of competition and then probably other aspect and then decide probably what is strategy to pursue in their business environment. So, to wrap up what we are saying is that uh, in the first week we discussed more about products and about companies and the needs of the companies and which guides the uh, products and we also discussed about customers and their needs and how that those needs uh, guide uh, development of products and services. We are now expanding uh, our uh, ang angle of view and we are therefore now looking at the environment in which uh, we operate and we are looking at competition that was the first thing that we looked at at environment. Of course, uh, we will have to look also at uh, the political environment, the social environment and all those issues, the change of technology, the pace of technology that will be other important aspects of environment which will guide the marketing strategy of a company and we will take that up uh, in uh, following sessions. Uh, we have still some aspects of uh, competition uh, aspects left 
and we will discuss that uh, perhaps after we discuss the other parts of the uh, environmental aspects. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.